Hi there everybody, it's Halsey from Slim and Stylish and I'm a UK Stamping Up Independent Demonstrator. I have had a really busy weekend, I've been to On Stage and On Stage was Saturday and on the Friday before I went to the Poodlers Team Retreat. So for the Poodlers Team Retreat I made these swaps which were 3x3 three three cards using the Fruit Punch and the Fruit Stamp Set. I put them with a the Starburst Punch and the 2 inch Circle Punch on the fruit paper and I use the lemon and lime twist striped ribbon to make these three by three cards. I left a little sticker on the back telling people it was nice to swap with them and where to go to find my blog because I didn't have stickers that were big enough to have the whole recipe on. So those were my swaps for the team retreat and then for on stage I did exactly the same but I didn't put the bows on because I made about 60 of these for the team retreat. There was 55 I think going and I made a few spares just in case and then for on stage I made a further 50 so by the time I got to the end I was so fed up of putting bows on. I was trying to I just I was so fed up of putting bows on so I then had these ones for on stage that were exactly the same just without the bows. So I have five of each still left. So I have five without the bows and then five with the bows. So what I'm going to do is the first five comments on this video, which has got the swaps on from my Poodlers team, I will send you a card providing your, you know, in the UK, um, Europe, that sort of thing. I will pop you a card in the post. If you comment on the other video, which will be the on stage swaps, I'm not going to do them all in one video because there's an awful lot to get through. Um, then I will send you the on stage card. So I've got five of each, so it's the first five comments and I'll send you a message and get your address and post them off to you. So I'll run through what swaps I got at the Poodlers Team retort, Resort. Poodlers Team Retort? Crafting re crafting Day on Friday. <laughs> I don't know what word that is. <laughs> so I'll quickly run through them all quite quick because there is quite a few. And if they've got a blog link on the back, I'll tell you, this one hasn't but it is using the um, stamp set, which one's that? It was in the A Good Day stamp set, so that was from the Occasions catalogue. A little treat for someone sweet. And inside, I don't know if you can see, it's got one of those little toffees from the roses section, so I'm just, while I'm here, I'm gonna take out all the chocolates because where I keep my um, swaps is right by the radiator in my room. Um, I don't want anything to get, to get mushy. So that was, that one using the berry burst ribbon this one was cute this was made by Angelina so it's Angelina from intertwine designs I don't know if you can see that and she put in a little post-it note pad which is always handy and these cute little mini tic tacs look at those so cute but what I love the most about her box is it's quite a sturdy box was I loved the bow that's how I remembered it was Angelina's because when I picked it out, I was like, I love that bow. It is so cute and it's just held together by a mini dimensional there. So that was that one. And then I got another post-it note. Love you. That was Stampin' by Hannah. So that was Hannah. And she made these ones really sweet. Then Sally from, I'm pretty sure it's Sally Stampers. Um is her, her name, let me see if it's got it on the box. It was a matchstick box, so lovely. It does come out because I've already opened it to see what was in it. It's mini Easter eggs and oh, there's a, that wasn't very good. Very delicate that, there is a note inside so I'll be able to tell you what her name is. Yes, it's Sally Stampers, it's a good memory. Um, and her swap part there, so I'm just going to hold that for a couple of seconds. So if you want, you can screenshot it to work out how she's made it. That's really cute. And that's using It's a Good Day stamp set too. Quite a few people seem to have used that. I think it's been a really popular one, um, which is nice because it's pretty. So she used Daffodil Delight stitch ribbon as well. So gorgeous little box, that one. This one was Verity. She says she's Inky Butterfly is Verity and she put in something really useful especially for me I can't push it out it's one of those four-way nail buffers 
and as you can tell I'm, I'm someone who likes my nails so that's really handy and she's used the fruit punches like I did and I bet she got annoyed with them as me they are so cute to just do one or two with but to do a hundred cards with five on each that's 500 punch it, it it was a long long day that day but she's done that she's used the fruit paper as well okay you're the best as a bookmark with a little charm on the back and I don't know whether you can see the little charm is of a dog and I'm a dog girl so I love that little charm and that's Karen Tatton who made that lovely this one was made by Katrina King and she's used the Myths and Magic Suite and I'm not sure if that's a, it's not a belly band it looks like it's got let me oh oh does anyone else do this when they get something? They don't want to open it. It just looks too pretty. I think this is going to be the easiest way to slide that chocolate out. Oh, there's two. There's two chocolates. Oh, she's well and truly stuck these in here with glue dots and everything. Two little kinder bars. Isn't that cute? And that's using that a little treat for someone sweet. That seemed to be a favourite stamp set for swaps. There was one here that used it as well, so I'll open that one. This one was Vicky Thompson from Penguin Crafts. So she, like me, is a member of the design team on Stampin' for All. So I know Vicky quite well. And I loved this because it was using my favourite pattern from that DSP. And she got that, that cute little stamp set with glimmer. I love a bit of glitter. And she's giving me fruit tellers. She knows me. <laughs> I think she gave the same to everybody else, but do like fruit tellers so I'll put those in my little my little sweet section it's nothing worse than opening things a couple of days later and find they've all stuck to each other so this was a little bag and I think it must have been tied together with um with the twine it can't have been open but um having to transport things from everywhere everything gets crushed so that's Jez Carpenter she's also a member of the design team over on Stamping for All and Jess, oh look at that, a little charm and it's a little scissors charm as well, very cute. I'm just going to put that off to the side and I might just, oh I've moved my bin but that's her little bag. I've got a big bag now and this has all been stamped itself. I'm pretty sure this is the one from Woodwards. I want to say it was the one from the Celebration catalogue, but I'm pretty sure it's not. It's the I've just knocked you because I'm trying to get into my Woodward stamp set. I think it's that one because it's got the uh, the marks on it. So I'm pretty sure it's that one. I won't knock you again by putting the stamp set back. I keep my stamp sets just above my desk so I can just grab them when I'm going. But it knocks my tripod every time I do it, so we we'll probably have a shaky headache by the end of this video. <laughs> it's using the lemon and lime twist ribbon. I've ran out of this ribbon and it's gorgeous ribbon. I love it. Um, it looks like it's a pack of tissues in there. Oh, look! That's clever. That is genius. She's made the bag to match the tissues. <laughs> and that's actually printed onto the tissue paper. So she that's really thoughtful. I love that. That is Karen Mackley. There are a hundred Karens in the Poodlers team. There's so many of them, but that's brilliant. I'm going to keep that to the side and use that on my... I love that. That's going this side. So clever. It's genius where we take inspiration from sometimes, isn't it? So this one was Corin. Corin turned up with her cute little baby and she was so well behaved. Oh, lovely um, that's a non-glue one so I like that it was just held together with the, uh, the twine and yeah it's Corin Marie designs just, can I quickly do that do, 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 do. I don't know whether I can quickly put it back on I'll just put one of them over no I'm going to put two there we go. That can just go in my swap box then. Now this one I was really impressed with from my kitchen to yours. 
I'm trying to think of her name. She hasn't put it on. But this was homemade. Um, it was white chocolate and I want to say white chocolate brownie or fudge, did she say? She gave it to me. She said that these were homemade in her little bit that says from my kitchen to yours. And I thought that was an awful lot of effort to make something homemade. So I, I did remember that and it was lovely. Um, who made this one? This is one of those um, twist top opening boxes. They are really clever. Gillian Selwood. And she's got two little... No, she hasn't. She's got three. She's spoilt us. Three tea lights in there. Pink tea lights too that kind of match the paper. So that's pretty good. And that was uh, Gillian Selwood who made that. And that for you is from the um, Woodwards, I think, as well. Yep, yeah, for you. So that set seems to have also been a popular set for on stage this year. This was Deb Toner, so that's Debsy Daisy Crafts. And these were quite clever. She's made them as bookmarks. I haven't got my scissors on my desk to... Oh, oh, I can do it. And she said they were for us because on stage you get a copy of the new catalogue. So she said that they were for when we check through the new catalogue, we could put them in where we wanted stuff. Debs, if you're watching this, I'm not going to lie. Five bookmarks and it's a massive great big catalogue. <laughs> I'm going to need more than five. But they just loop the pages like that and that's using the tabs um, for everything stamp set with a naturally eclectic paper. But five was a bit stingy, Debs. I'm going to be using a lot more than that. <laughs> Love those. And then... Ah, this was Jazzle Dazzle Crafts. That's Janice Thompson from Edinburgh. Which I'm pretty sure she's Edinburgh. She's Scotland anyway. She's got, I think she flew in from Edinburgh. I can't remember. She's definitely Scottish. And um, she's embossed the dragonfly set onto here. But she's white embossed it and then she's just coloured it. And it's gorgeous as a little note paper. But I think it really stands out. So I, I loved that. We've got a card now from Karen Kilner which was also using the Good Day stamp set, but that's been heat embossed gold with the lovely gold foil tassel. That was from the Painted With Love stamp set, and this is the Painted With Love Designer series paper. So that just, I don't know if you can see, it really glimmers, that does. And then Justina, she did a card front. So there's Justina's details from Perfect Crafts. And she used the Dad Jokes stamp set to do that and the lovely velvet trim that came with that. This hasn't got it on, but I'm pretty sure it was Ellie. And it was milk chocolate, because I went through her thing. She had dark chocolate as well, and I went through for ages looking for milk, because I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate. But she's done it in the crushed curry with the chocolate makes everything better. And that was from the More Than Chocolate stamp set. Um, oh, I'm going to regret not having my scissors by me. One of the triangle pouches. And this and see who this was from. It is lovely that you go to um, an event and no one has done the same sort of thing or played with the same sort of idea. So that's Tracy Ward from Starburst Crafts. And there's a little chocolate in the middle. I'm starting my uh, after on stage diet today. I'm doing a shake diet. I don't think these girls know this because there is so much food piling up on this side of my desk now. This one here, thank you so much. I can tell you who made it. I'm pretty sure it's Kay, actually. Yes, it is. Kay Mella from Papercraft Skies. And she's popped in her, her what she used section. And it says, Friendship's sweetest thoughts blossom in the heart. Love that. And it's got a little dragonfly charm on that. Really nice. I'm going to put that to the side so I don't miss the the charm. A little handbag stamped onto the card and that's Kayla Love. Oh, better hide that. My, um, my boyfriend loves Lynn so I think he'll be into that when he gets back. There's his little handbag. I'm going to speed up a little bit because I realise it's been 14 minutes and I'm still going 
through them. I'm well over halfway for those that are watching. Little bag with the tassel. Doesn't say who's made this, and I can't see that there's a note inside, but there is. Oh, that smells lovely. Not sure what flavour it is, but it smells really nice. That's quite cute with a painter who loves stamp set. And that's the uh, It's a Good Day stamp set again. And that's been a very popular one. I'm trying to keep the candles separate to the sweets on the side of the desk. Yes, now this was Donna, Donna Lester, Taffy Crafting. She made these gorgeous crackers. And I don't think I'm going to be able to, even with my nails, get that open. But it looks like... Oh, I'm like a kid, aren't I? I can't get in. And we had um, we had to take a goodie bag, well, a bag of, I, no, I'm not going to open it, but there is a chocolate in the middle. Um, we had to take a bag of all our crafting supplies to one stage yesterday, and that hasn't been unpacked yet, so. Oh, this is really clever, by the way. I'll shut it again and show you. It's an origami. I've broken it. Just as I said it was clever, I've ripped it too heavy-handed but it's a little origami bag and I thought it was so clever I don't have the patience for origami but I thought this was genius I did like it and it opens really wide considering it it closes very thin it opens really wide to let you get things in and this was Tracy Walkden from Winbury Whispers she made that bag. I did, I love it. I can't believe I've broken it. I'm going to put that on the side and I'm going to fix it before I put it away. There's some more treats inside. I'm going to get really fat. Another post-it note here. It doesn't say who's made that one. But it's um it's wrapped together quite quite innately. Um, I wanted to see inside if it got who made it. Oh yeah. It's Karen Stanton Smelt, and um, she's put all of her things that you make it just there. She's lovely. I told her about my diet, and she said that she was going to bring <laughs> tables full of fruit, and she did, and she kept coming over saying, you haven't ate the grapes yet, but my diet starts today, Karen. This one was Elizabeth Finney, and she put a little gel pen in with the post-it notes. Quite a good idea, that. This one here was... Boppity Craft. I'm not sure who's Boppity Craft, but it's Boppity Craft and it's got a little pencil inside there. So I'm just going to take the pencil out and put it in my, my pencil holder. I'm almost at the end now. Sarah Crankshaw, she gave us a, a notepad. And this one here was also a notepad from Michelle Ellis. And that's using that cake spray foil paper, which is just gorgeous. This one here, I'm not sure who did this, but it's using the very first ink colour in the leaf punch and it opens. Oh, you're a you're dimensionals. Oh, it's Lilo Crafts. That's clever with the little post it note. That'll be good for going through the catalogue. Like that, I'm going to keep that to the side to, to use for the catalogue. This one here, I'm pretty sure it was Julie Addison who gave this one. I can't see it on here. I can't seem to open it, but she did promise me it had blue skittles inside. I hadn't had blue skittles before. I wondered if they were like those blue smarties, you know, the ones that used to make you, you high and hyper. And I don't need that to be a high and hyper, but that's what's in there. And it's using the daisy punch and it glimmers. It's gorgeous, but I can't open it without my scissors. This one was Jacqueline Calder. She was sitting next to me and she said it's perfumed and she has allergies to perfume stuff so I couldn't open it there. So I'll open it now for you and see what's in there. Look at him, he's got his goggly eyes on. So cute. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 don't rip, don't rip. Oh, she's got tea lights in here as well. Oh yes, and that one smells quite nice as well. That's like more of a strawberry one. But yes, it was Jacqueline Calder who made that one. This was quite genius. I liked this. Um, and I've already peeked at it. I know what's in it. 
a friendship's sweetest thoughts blossom from the heart and she left a little note in it to say that inside there are wild flowers and it's Tony Stokes from the super she's a member of the super stylish stampers so that's Caroline Hewler's group um, and that's what she used but inside has got all of these little seeds to go and plant outside to encourage the bees back into the wildlife and I thought that was a really unique and very nice swap and then I've also got this box I'm going to go with a pencil in here what do you reckon? two pens by the look of it <laughs> pink I do like pink good pick by me because I think she had all different colours so I'm glad I got pink and it was Karen MacDonald from Corrie Paper Crafts and that was all of the swaps from the um, Poodlers retreat. I'd also got a little present from my upline, Sam Hammond Donald from Poodles. And she sent us some things out the catalogue for us to use. Um, and that's great. It's lovely to go to an event that has everybody from the same team in. People who you speak to regularly but don't often see. And to have a good catch up day. So that's really nice. And it was a great day at all. I will obviously blog about my day and the projects that we did because we did a few bits of crafting. We had afternoon tea and I'll put up what I crafted. I crafted two cards, I think. Um, and I, I won the raffle as well. I won, um, I won a stamp set and a die set in the raffle. So I'm really looking forward to using those. But there will be details on my blog. And if you fancy joining the team and joining us for our next event, there will also be details on how to join um, on my blog as well so go over and check that out at www.slimandstylish.com and if you do want one of these cards like I said just drop a comment in either on my blog or on YouTube in the first five I'll pop one in the post to you thanks everybody and speak to you soon bye